sometimes people think that bringing things forth mm. has to be like it is on TV or like they grew up in the house. It has to be aggressive. It's like, I'm going to say something and then it's, or they've held it in so long that it only can come out as an explosion because there's so much pent up stuff. Instead of saying, hey, let's dedicate a time during each week or however what frequency works for you that we can just share openly. That's not reactionary, like after something happens. Like sit down yeah. and let's proactively build a relationship that we choose. And that's in, and by creating that time and actually the agreement to have that instead of like doing it in the car when you're rushing off somewhere or some other kind of in-between moment, give your partner and yourself the opportunity to, like, to actually address that and, and to share in a space that's secure and accepted that this is, the, this is a great time to do that as opposed to, oh no, we didn't get quite enough, I, we gotta stop, I got this to do and, and do that and, and communicate because if, if you're holding something back and because you think they're not gonna accept it, and where's that relationship ultimately gonna go? Like that's the, the old, I mean, communication, smooth, Ooh. beautiful communication, conscious communication is what a, the, the foundational piece to wonderful intimacy, romance, continued connection and love. Without that, it's the opposite. It's, it's growing or it's contracting, it's dying. That's what's happening in your relationship and you get to choose which way it goes, but it's gonna come with you expressing yourself truly.